paddleboard would have been good, wouldn't it? Oh, I could have done this on a paddleboard. I hope we get more rain. I'd have been more organised and bought my paddleboard. Right, let's go and have a look at this Skoda. Look at that, look. I didn't have a tripod, so I just stood my camera up in one of my boots. Sacrificing a pair of jeans and a pair of shoes for YouTube views. Look at that. I'm not going any further because then I genuinely will be balls deep. If you cast your minds back a year, I was running around in a red Range Rover and I'll put the clip in here. This road was completely flooded because that down there is the bridge that goes over the River Team. And if we look a bit closer, we can see it's starting to happen again. So we have a horrendous amount of water on its way down from Wales, meaning I wouldn't be too surprised if this road was flooded tomorrow. So bear with me on the audio. We'll go take a look and see what the situation is with the river. We were wading through this in the Range Rover. It must have been, I don't know, getting on for uh, a couple of feet, something like that. It was pretty sketchy in the Range Rover, but it was good fun to have that car for a little while. Um, so we'll go and walk down to the bridge and we'll see if we can see where the river is um, because it's absolutely not where the river is supposed to be. It is definitely spreading out. So I thought I'd come down to this little spot where we did the Range Rover wading. I'd say it must have been around about a year ago, but I think there's more water this time. So, we shall see. It's alright then. Is he filming over? Right? <laughs> Love it. Here we go. <laughs> it's got a bit of speed to it. I'll zoom out a sec. Wow, it is, um, yeah, that is pretty interesting. Some pretty turbulent water there. Wow, the noise it makes as it goes through there. Yeah, let's go a little bit further down. Because as it floods across this field, spreads out and that's when it goes across the road. Public footpath to nowhere. So there's quite a drop off as well. The road's quite low after the bridge. So. Yeah, you wouldn't want to fall in that. Cool, so we'll come back here again tomorrow and see what it's looking like. But if it gets as deep as it did last year, um, I don't have a vehicle that can do that. <laughs> well, probably shouldn't have done it in the Range Rover, to be honest. But uh, the only cars I've got that have got MOTs at the minute are lowered Volvos, which is the last thing you want for fording flood water. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good morning, we are out and about 
checking out the floods down at, um, well, down where I was yesterday, really, where we drove the Range Rover last year. Same again, I'm in the same place. I have just driven through a fairly flooded road, and thankfully, a friend of mine was at the other end trying to work out if he could get through with his uh, Volkswagen, I think it was a Touran, and um, he decided he wasn't gonna do it with the Touran, but I I'd already done it with the Volvo. Uh, and then I got chatted to him for a bit, and he filmed me coming through, because he saw me in an 850, and he thought, oh, I know who that is. <laughs> so here is the video of me driving through in the Volvo. Um, it was deep, but I mean, it was all right. So now we're gonna head down to the main road where the Range Rover clip was filmed last year where it was much deeper. Apparently it's still flooded, but it is quite passable. So we're gonna have a look at that now as well. Um, the river level, the water levels have dropped overnight anyway. Um, I thought it was gonna be much worse than it actually was. So I don't think there's gonna be much to see this morning, but we'll document it because I filmed it yesterday. And, uh, and then we'll get this video on YouTube as a, as a midday Friday video. How about that, midday Friday video? Oh yeah, this is fine, we'll just follow this van through. Yep, not even as deep as the one I just drove through. Easy peasy on that one. And then sometimes it floods further along here as well. In fact, last year in the Range Rover, yeah, you went through a dry spot there and then it was flooded here. But um, I mean, the road closed signs are up because the water level was much higher earlier on today. But as you can see, it's now perfectly passable. And if I can pass it in a lowered Volvo, then everybody can pass it. Uh, unless your air intake is really, really low. Right, we'll go back through there and I'll see if I can film it. Have I got a tripod with me? Look, I didn't have a tripod, so I just stood my camera up in one of my boots. <laughs> River is still raging pretty nicely. But as I said, the water levels have dropped off from where they were yesterday. So, uh, right, I think there's a car coming. And I got my GoPro on the side of the, side of the car, look. found another road here so this is the new mill bridge over the river team um, looks to me like it's already had some victims that Audi looks like it's fairly deep actually so the oh, is a Skoda might be a Skoda superb let's go and take a look so 
So if you're not familiar with the area, that road up there with the road close sign, if you go right there, you'll end up at Shelsey Walsh Hill Climb. Um, and then you've got this here, which goes out towards Martley. Uh, looks to me like, I mean, I can't imagine there's gonna be anyone in that Skoda, but we'll go have a little look. I'd imagine, yeah, look at, look at the condensation on the van as well. So the van's been done. Um, I'd imagine people drive through at night, which is just insanity. Like when it's dark, you cannot be risking driving through flood water. This is a brand new car as well. Oh, it's a 72, so that makes it fairly new. I'll go as far as my wellies will allow. Um, I say the water levels have been dropping, so it may be that it was even deeper when this car tried to go through, but it's still got some distance to go to the other side. I wouldn't risk this in the Volvo, but then what? what? Why, why would you risk it when you can't see your exit point? Um, it's getting to the top of my wellies now. I don't know how much further I'm gonna be able to go. We're all right. I'm going really slowly because I'm watching my wellies. Oh, it's getting deep. I don't think I can get all the way to the car, which is a shame, um, without getting really wet. Is it worth it? No, these are my only wellies. We could do it, we could go and get wet and then I could go buy some new wellies later. Is it worth sacrificing some wellies for YouTube? I think it probably is, isn't it? Or do we do it barefoot? It's not that cold. What do I want to do, sacrifice my wellies or sacrifice some cold legs? Mind you, they, this is the thing as well, there could be anything underfoot. Um, so, because we're sacrificing a pair of jeans as well, which I'll be honest, they're not that clean. I think we're gonna do it. What other shoes have I got in the car? Oh, hold the phone. I've got, I've got some trainers that I'm not wearing at the moment in the car. Let's go get my trainers on and I'm gonna sacrifice some trainers to go have a closer look at that Skoda just for YouTube. Paddleboard would have been good, wouldn't it? Oh, I could have done this on a paddleboard. I hope we get more rain. I'd have been more organized and bought my paddleboard. Right, let's go and have a look at this Skoda. I'm gonna get my little barefoots wet. Sacrificing a pair of jeans and a pair of shoes for YouTube views. Hey, that rhymes. Oh, it's not actually that cold. My wife's gonna kill me. Right, the Land Rover's gone. I was worried that they were going to be watching me and going, why the heck is that guy wading into flood water? Well, I can see the depth of it because I can see it's at the back of the car and I figured this car can't be too high. So, um, right, we're now, we're in. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm zoomed in as well. I don't need to zoom in on my crotch, do I? That's the last thing you need to see. Right, so 72 plate Octavia. Um, hey, look, the mud is up to the boot. So clearly, uh, and there's a, there's a handprint there, so someone's, driven in and then they've flooded the back of the car got a snail on there as well windows open that i mean that is deep isn't it what are you doing um oh golly look at that that is um yeah i mean look it's all electric in it there's everything's electric about this car so oh it's got a child seat in the back as well it's someone's family car i really hope you didn't have the kid in the car when you tried to get through there um, cause that is just a little bit ridiculous to be totally honest, isn't it? Oh dear. Hopefully they didn't have the child with them and everything was okay. Um, obviously the car is going to be completely hydrolocked because it's completely stuck. And I am now, um, I am balls deep. I am quite literally balls deep. So there we go. Balls deep. I'm not going any further because then I genuinely will be balls deep and I, I really don't fancy getting those wet right now but you can see how far the road goes um so hopefully that has highlighted a little bit as to why it's quite ridiculous to try and drive through flood water when you cannot see the exit point look at that it's a long way that is that is a long way and it gets deeper and deeper it goes all the way out there so it is 
pretty deep that. Oh look, interesting lines in the sky. Who would have thought that? Um, cool. I'm quite enjoying this. I'll go back home and get my paddleboard. Except I've been told that I'm not allowed to because we've got to go take Mrs. Jeff's car to get the tyres done. Hey, red kite. Love seeing red kites. Red kites are just fascinating animals. If I'm going to focus, there we go. Yes. Red kites used to mainly be in the Elan Valley and now they're spreading out. Is it being hassled by all those birds? Maybe it is. Beautiful animals and they make a fantastic noise. You always know when red kites are around because you can hear them. Cool, right, let's go and get in trouble for getting balls deep in the river. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing that Skoda. And then I've got one more flood to drive through on the way home. I really hope everyone's okay. And um, it was just someone on their own being silly. I would assume that that's exactly what's happened. But obviously this now makes it impassable for anyone else. So when the road does clear, there's a car stuck in the way. Um, if it was you, I um, you have my condolences. Um, I wish you hadn't tried to do it, but there we go. That back door's open a little bit as well, isn't it? Oh, it does make me wonder if there was a child in there when they were attempting to get through here. I don't know, because maybe the front one's open as well. Maybe there were three of them in it. We will never know unless someone comments on my video and says, that was me. I was being silly. Uh, so it looks to me like the Mercedes tried to get through as well. You can see all the condensation on the window. That car's obviously been extremely damp. Um, so was that the Land Rover giving up? Did you see the Land Rover drive past then? I wonder if um, he gave up. Well, I've been through there in the Volvo, so it should be fine. Can't park there. Right, leather seats on my Volvo, so they are wiped clean because I can guarantee that this water is gonna stink and I'm in trouble for getting soaking wet. But I feel like that was worth it because I think we all learned something. And if we didn't learn something, then at least it was entertaining. Right, let's go and do the next bit and hope that doesn't fall off. All right, back in the car. I'm electing to go without the seatbelt because we are in floods. As I say, the flood water is receding, so we're gonna go do this bit, and then I'll go find Mrs. Jeff. And she will moan about the state of my jeans. That's it, that's the end of the video. Those are my two favorite flood spots that I like to explore when the weather has been inclement. And um, thank you very much for watching this Worcestershire Shire floods video, 2024, because there was one in 2023, it's all got no brakes. <laughs> Always test your brakes after you've been through flood water. Because um, it takes a minute for your brakes to start working again. There we go, we've got the brakes back. Lovely, right, thanks for watching.